Welcome back to the show. Kelly, I know you've got another triggerfish item prepared for us. Blackened trigger orleans, is that Blackened right? Blackened triggerfish orleans, okay. yes sir. Great. Black, blackened triggerfish topped with uh, pan fried oysters. Tell me a little bit about how you prepare this one. Okay, we're going to take the triggerfish fillets that we clean mm -hmm. and uh, going to lightly dip them in our Cajun breader, or Cajun, Cajun spices, excuse me. And these. Of course, a lot of people are familiar with the Cajun blackened uh, redfish or red drum. This is a similar yep. menu item, it yep. sounds like, just with trigger fish. Yep, exactly. Same same type of method. And, got you. Uh, just throw a little twist on it. So I know with oysters, we've got different seasons and different areas and locations that we pull them from. The oysters that we've got, um, right. you mentioned they came from Little Washington, I think? Yeah, they're packed in Little Washington. Okay. Uh, very few packers around here to chug the packed oysters. Mm -hmm. uh, they're packed in Little Washington, but they come from our coast, right. up and down the coast, wherever they get the best oysters from. And um, if, if we wanted to go out and select and harvest our own oysters, what types of things are important for us to know? Any ideas? Or? Uh, just make sure you're in a legal area to start right. with, and right. um, check with all the local regulations. And um, they're abundant everywhere in the area. Right. Uh, we're about ready to flip the. Uh, Sugar fish now. Got you. So all those seasonings on top, blackened on bottom. Absolutely. Mm, that looks delicious. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and throw the oysters on. Put a little bit more of that on there. And oysters right on the same grill then. Yep. Take uh, three nice oysters. Bread them up. And you're just breading those in your seafood breading that we yep. used earlier then, I guess. Absolutely. Huh? That trigger piccata. And I hear so many people talking about having a good hot temperature before you put the fish on there, especially oh, yeah. when you're using anything that's got breading on it. Absolutely. Talk, talk a little bit about why that's important, if you don't mind, Kelly. Yeah. Well, uh, you want to see, sear it. Um, like I say, I use clarified butter. Mm -hmm. People use all different kinds of stuff, but right. butter is butter. Yeah. Butter is better. Got right. you. Uh, we're just going to let those season up good. Uh, doesn't take very long on there. I say anything you're doing on the flat top, you can do in a skillet, mm -hmm. cast iron pan. Uh, just watch your heat. You make sure you're on medium, medium high heat. Okay, medium to medium high. Yep. Okay, while this finishing right there, I'm going to cook up my green beans. All right. We have uh, fresh green beans that we've blanched. Okay. Hot water, and I'll just heat those back up again. I know there's a number of different markets here in Crystal Coast area where you can get fresh green beans and fresh produce as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Great. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, flip the oysters. Of course, you can grow your own in season two. We just started up the garden here recently, getting, getting ready right. for some new fresh produce to come in. Yeah. Actually, I grow, in the summertime, I grow a bunch of tomatoes and zucchini, Great. squash. This really is a fresh product here then at Picatas. Oh yeah, absolutely. Everything is fresh. delicious. From fresh fish to fresh green, fresh grown produce. It's, yep. uh, well, it's a great operation you've got. Season with a little bit of a seasoning mix. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh yeah. Um, all right, we're ready to plate. Beans are done. Garlic mashed potatoes. Those up there. With a little bit of skin left on, it looks like. Oh, yeah. I love your mashed skin potatoes. All. Skin One of my all. favorites. Green beans on there. Okay. Now the trigger, see how it's cracked open like that? Mm-hmm. Trigger's done. So that's a good sign that it's done then. Yep. It starts to break open a little bit. Look that. Is it a fairly flaky fish too? Oh yes. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna put our oysters up there. Okay, and then we're gonna top that with our chipotle aioli. Mm. That's good stuff. I'll tell you what folks, if you're not hungry, you're not living. Something's wrong with you. That looks delicious. And there we go, our blackened triggerfish orling. Kelly, you have really taught us a lot about triggerfish today. I know we're going to talk a little bit more about it, but that's right. three different 
menu items that you've yep. got that are really taking advantage of the entire trigger fish's body. Uh, Absolutely. And that's awesome. No waste involved. Uh, all fresh local produce, fresh local fishery. Yes, sir. That's awesome. That's why we love piccatas.